I'm going to demonstrate to you now one of the properties of a superconductor. It's called the Meissner effect. What I have here are six pieces of yttrium barium copper oxide. This is one of these high temperature superconductors. Now when a superconductor reaches its critical temperature or below, you see the following very interesting effect. This is liquid nitrogen I'm pouring on. And what I have here is a donut shaped magnet, which I'm going to sit on top of the six pieces of superconductor now, and a pilot. What's happening here is whenever a superconductor is put into a magnetic field, the superconductor responds in the following way. Circulating currents in the surface of the superconductor form and they circulate in such a direction so that the magnetic field due to those circulating currents exactly cancels the externally applied magnetic field. The result is that the surface behaves like the mirror image of the magnetic field you've applied to it. So it's as though the magnet that I've put above sees an image of itself in the superconductor so you have two identical poles facing each other, and so you get repulsion. Because, of, because the, um, the circulating currents always go in the direction to oppose the field, it doesn't matter whether it's the south pole or the north pole of the magnets pointing towards it, you always get a repulsion. This effect is also called perfect diamagnetism. Now given what I've just said, that the magnet sees a reflection, an image of itself in the surface of the superconductor, so therefore it's, it's like it sees a south pole will see a south pole, if I flip this over, it should still work. And you can see I still get reflection. So that's a property of the Meissner effect. It doesn't matter the orientation of the magnetic field, you always get that repulsion. It not only works with apples, the Meissner effect also works with tennis balls.